To access the control panel, uh, click Start, Setup, Control Panel. And this opens up uh, all of your settings for SI2015. This is where you'll set up users uh, for either SI25 access uh, or if you're going to be using our mobile install um, feature. Uh, you'll set up mobile install users. Uh, maybe you're just setting up what would be called resources in the software. Um, so there's a, like three different things out here all under the users category or section. But um, there, there are those distinctions. So let's uh, talk about those and uh, start setting up a user. So to, uh, first thing really is to look at user groups. User groups is where you're going to set your permissions in the software. And what you see here are the default uh, two groups. There's the administrator group, which has uh, complete control and access to everything in the software. Um, and then just uh, a default standard user account, where you can see some of these items aren't fully checked. You can expand these to actually see all of the um, uh, permissions. And of course, you're going to want to change these to, to fit your needs. Um, these permissions, uh, there's, there's quite a few of them. Um, at the catalog level, you can decide um, whether some users are allowed to delete, say, uh, products out of your database or packages out of your database, um, if they can view costs or prices. Um, the delete thing is a big one, so you might want to limit some of your users to not be able to delete out of your database. Um, but anyways, um, to add a new group, just hit new, uh, type in a name, and then start unchecking or checking permissions. Uh, I cancel out of that and just leave the defaults for now. Um, you can also set up roles. Now, roles uh, aren't permission-based or anything like that, but uh, they're a way to identify um, just who's who in the company and what, what their roles or uh, what their positions are. Uh, there's some defaults here, designer, project manager, sales rep. So um, you can always add a new one like, um, you know, technician or installer or whatever you want to. Uh, say, but uh, that's editable there. Um, so to create a new user, you're going to hit the new button, and that's going to open up this form here, uh, the new user form. Uh, you're going to want to type in a name. So we'll do this. Um, you know, I'm just typing an email address. If you want to put a mobile number in here, you can. Um, typing stuff here. We can choose a role here um, for who this person is if you'd like. Uh, and again, if you um, need to add a role, you can just add somebody here. Okay, we'll add another new one. Save and close. Um, mark them as the president, also a sales rep. So again, two roles there. If you want to put a cost per hour here, you can. Uh, generally, though, this would be used for um, installers or resources that you're going to be using on tasks or uh, service orders that cost per hour where that could come into play mainly tasks um, so at this point in time we basically set up a resource uh, in the software so they, they have no ability to log in to SI 2015 in order to do that you're going to want to check this box to can sign into system integrator and this is where I'll set up um, you know a username for and we'll just go Philip and password type in something there and choose a group now this is going to determine the permissions this is that user groups so if you need to edit this um, go here and edit that but we're going to of course uh, we'll make the president of the company the administrator here and now um, if you are using the mobile installer or mobile install interface you can uh, make this user a mobile installer uh, if you click this button here or this little checkbox I should say. It'll pull down the email address here um, as well as uh, a role field here and the role field there's only two of these for uh, mobile install users. Administrator uh, who will get to see uh, you know all calendars in the mobile install interface as well as all tasks and all service orders or the uh, installer role where the installer will see their own tasks and um, service orders and the calendar will reflect uh, you know just their um, again, tasks and service orders. So we'll leave this as an administrator and go ahead and click save and close. And so it shows that um, 
a mobile installer, um, Philip Chevron, was created, and uh, email's been sent, and that email will have uh, login information for the mobile install interface, uh, your username, as well as a temporary password. So just hit OK on that message, and we've created a, um, a user. And this indication here is um, that they are a uh, mobile install user, the little icon. And now you uh, may want to send an email to the user uh, that is different than that mobile install email. Uh, this email should be sent to all users that are set up out here where um, it will have their login information for the first time logging into the six client. Uh, it'll have the server name uh, and the IP address as well for them to type in uh, as well as the port because um, those will be required fields on their initial login to the software. Uh, as well as a uh, link to download the latest uh, client install if you're going to let your users install this uh, themselves on their machines. So they'll have all of that information in this email.